don't feel no ways tired. I come too far from where I started from. Nobody told me that the road would be easy. I don't believe he brought me this far to leave me. And you all helped us win in 2020, and we're going to do it again in 2024. As cringe as seeing Juvenile do vax that thing up. It was as cringe as watching Mary J. Blige sing about crispy chickens on the Burger King commercial. It was cringe. And I don't give a damn how y'all feel about it. That shit was embarrassing as hell. I'm not mad at Megan because Megan was just getting a check. But when did popping your pussy become something for women's rights? <laughs> pussy politics. <laughs> Gucci crumbs for Kamala. <laughs> Hoes for Harris. <laughs> shit is so fucking... Yo, I'm laughing to keep from crying because this is some embarrassing shit, y'all. Why are y'all voting for this shit, man? Why are y'all standing for this? Come on now, sisters. What are y'all doing? And you know what's crazy? It's like when I go in people's lives and we ask people why they're supporting her, they never have a fucking answer. It's always identity politics, which is by far the worst form of politics. Okay, you guys put it in the chat. Let me know where you're viewing from. Please put it in the chat. Let me know where you're viewing from. It's always great to see you guys in the building. I have my own thoughts about Scamala. Camilla Scamala. Because I think she does not have a genuine bone in her body. Kamala Harris, she's a scam. Because she changed with the wind. Um, if she's around black people, I guess she's talking black. If she's in Atlanta, she's talking Southern. You know, it doesn't it doesn't make sense. She called it a rally. You know, it had Megan Thee Stallion. You know, they have some stu superstars in there. And, you know, they announce who they were bringing in so people could show up. Um, this is the vice president. On day one, I will take on price gouging and bring down costs. We will ban more of those hidden fees and surprise late charges that banks and other companies use to pad their profits. We will take on corporate landlords and cap unfair rent increases. And we will take on Big Pharma to cap prescription drug costs for all Americans. Our plan will lower costs and save many middle class families thousands of dollars a year. This sounds like Biden's campaign. I don't know what she's running on. Now, this accent that she just pulled out of thin air was kind of weird. And you all helped us win in 2020, and we're going to do it again in 2024. <laughs> And you all helped us win in 2020, and we're going to do it again in 2024. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. I don't take Kamala Harris serious. I really don't. Um, even though she stopped laughing and they, I guess some of her uh, publicists told her to stop laughing because nobody's going to take you seriously. You can't just switch up like that. You, you can't say, oh, I'm down in Atlanta, so I got to start talking country. 
No, it makes you look, look like a psychopath. Remember, I called her a psychopath. But that's what it makes her look like. Then she, she's going to, um, you know, she brought Megan the Stallion. And people were, they had mixed, I've seen mixed reaction. Mixed reaction from this, okay? Um, some people praised it because, you know, hey, you got to get the young voters out. And then other people were like appalled because, oh, that's what you think of me. You know, Megan Thee Stallion. Hey, I think it's a pl time and a place for everything. I'm not an anti Megan Thee Stallion. Actually, I like the way they look. They look, she had clothes on, which, which was good. But you're, you're popping, you're twerking. At one point she was twerking. And it's like, you have some people like, oh, is this what we doing? And then you have others like, you know, they enjoyed it. And of course, the younger people enjoyed it. Who are you trying to attract? I guess you're trying to attract the young voters, but the young voters are just going to come and maybe not even voting. People just probably like, oh, yeah, let's go see Man Megan Thee Stallion. I'm not voting for Harris. I really would like to see black folks start pressuring Kamala Harris no, what are your policies? Give us specific policies that you are running on. And you know, black folks that's voting Democrat, they prefer policies written directly for them. What is your black agenda? And if you can't give me that, then you don't need my vote. You're asking for my vote, but you're trying to entertain me. And that's some, that's some BS. You get Megan Thee Stallion to twerk, because you think black folks love twerking. The other day, it was just about a month ago, she had, she was playing Sexy Red in front of the, you know, the young people. You're supposed to be the leader. Okay, that's what they like. But they're in, if they're in the White House, you shouldn't be playing Sexy Red. You, where's your bar at? You're not setting the bar. You're going down to the bar. The, the lowest bar. You're not making people, okay, we're raising our bar. You're not an Obama or a Michelle Obama. I'm sorry, some people don't like Obama, but when Michelle, uh, Barack Obama got in the office, people felt proud. They're not proud of you.